Hi, and welcome back to the Blue Screen Brothers. Uh, we promised you to uh, keep Niklas uh, in touch with us, and uh, we promised you to so, do some more workbooks in the Defender for Cloud. So, Marius, are you ready to do some workbooks? I'm always ready for workbooks. Yeah, Niklas as well. <laughs> yeah. I am. Very yeah. powerful uh, feature. Well done, hit yeah, so, yeah. so, so the thing is that uh, what what I always uh, find is that sometimes I would like to do so, uh, th there's certain things I want to look for and that it's just not included directly in the different uh, like pre-made views or whatever in Defender for Cloud or uh, could, the same thing in Sentinel, right? Where you also have uh, um, the notion of uh, of workbooks. So. Niklas, is this something that can help me to to sort of um, get the re either the reports I want to or the more like some of the live views that I would really like to customize a bit more? Yeah, I mean, it provides you with a, a flexible um, report or canvas for, for data analysis and, uh, and you can really get, you know, visual reports um, yeah, within the, the Azure portal here. So I think it's it's de it could definitely help you <laughs> with your with your issue, uh, with your issues or, or yeah questions that you have and here yes. you just see some of the the building. So it was a leading question, cloud. Marius. Yeah. Yes. No, no, yes. it was. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I think last time we mentioned a uh, secure score over time. Yeah. Um, so I think uh, let's just have a look here and see if uh, if I can get some data out of uh, the demo environment here. Um, so just for the last seven days, so hopefully we will get something. Um, mm. Yeah, not yeah, not yeah, too yeah, much. But, yeah, but, but you can uh, see that 30 yeah. days change was actually quite nice. Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly, and maybe we can actually just change this and see if we get uh, get some more. Yeah, here you start to yeah. see a little bit more, right? The longer you go back. So here, um, and this is what we, what we actually mentioned last time, right? And you can work your secure score up, and then suddenly you deploy a lot of resources, and it might drop. Yeah. And then you might have to remediate that, and then get back up again. Um, yeah. So you really will see this fluctuate a lot. You will almost never see like a straight line. At least yeah. that's my experience. Um, it will go up and down, mm -hmm. and you will also almost never have hundred percent for more than a, you know a few uh, hours at a time. <laughs> yeah, of course, depending on on your environment size. But uh, so so yeah. don't be too sad if you do not have hundred percent. I mean, again, I will recommend you set some sort of a baseline. Say, okay, we need to be above I don't know ninety five percent or whatever your risk tolerance is uh, and, within your organization. And I think we also um, forgot to mention that when you are doing the changes, you might need to wait twenty four hours to be calculated in in the into the score and the, uh, and the result here. So so you uh, you have to be a bit patient if you create a new resources and it will, will take some time for everything to be in uh, in place. Then it will give you a lower score for a day, and the next day it will. A bounce yeah. up. It's 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 a look like something like that have have happened here on May twenty second. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, what else do we have here? Yeah, well, we yeah. have and a lot so, of uh, and, and the uh, really cool things that I find here is that um you can build this first of all yourself right from mm -hmm. essentially from scratch and you have also finished templates both from Microsoft but also yeah. from uh, from uh, the community essentially Oops. where different people have created different kinds of um of um uh, pre-made stuff for you mm. um and um uh, what is then cool is that it, let's say i have a weekly uh, review meeting of the azure platform or something like that where we essentially plan our um sprint or whatever then you can have a custom dashboard essentially just that you have made that you can use in your meeting to either get the top recommendations or some you can really customize it a bit to your to the way you actually work right hmm. yeah that was very true um customize make your own workbooks so or as you said import 
uh, workbooks that other people in the Microsoft communities they have done. You have a, a wide a variety uh, of workbooks that are very good. Um, one mm -hmm. that comes on, on top that we use a lot is the uh, often resources, uh, especially for cost management. That is uh, very yeah. helpful. So you can so you can see, do we have uh, any often resources, so resources that we are not using or are not connected to anything that are just laying there? It could be a disk from uh, the, an old a VM disk or something like that, the data disk that are just laying. Nobody is uh, is not attached to anyone to any uh, hmm. VM. Um, but it costs money, so mm -hmm. it's a very good way to uh, yeah. Yeah, to well, I've also seen uh, also seen a a couple of nice workbook to calculate the cost when they are going from one licensing method to another. For instance, the container licensing was uh, quite different, so so you can actually calculate the cost of switching uh, by running the the workbook. So that that's uh, a lot of nice community additions. Definitely. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mean, again, I don't have uh, anything in here um, of of interest other than the built-in ones. But uh, but yeah, they are they are very cool. Um, so, yeah. And this is also what is used really for for some of the buttons that you saw um, when clicking clicking around in the other views where you had this uh, governance report and stuff. Mm -hmm. Then yeah. These are the report. actual actual reports. So yes. um, um, yeah, exactly. So, so th this is I... just a view of a workbook, right? Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Is there any way we can just start our workbooks uh, that will give us something fun, uh, funny now? Uh, for instance, the uh, you had the active uh, active alerts, for instance, just to see the active alerts. Uh, I don't have any alerts in this system, so I think it will not give oh, us yeah, anything. Yeah, that's right. Um, we, didn't, uh, we didn't import anything. We just create. Uh, we just showed it. I uh, remember that. We exactly. Had, uh, but yeah. I think uh, yeah. continuing on our little uh, yeah, cost talk, then uh, yeah. this cost estimation uh, is great too. It gives you an, an idea of how much does it actually cost to uh, yeah to run, <laughs> to yeah. enable the different uh, plans here, as you can see. So here you have your subscription, and here you have all your Defender plans. So you can see uh, Defender for CSPM. It costs this much, uh, Defender for Servers uh, that we have enabled, and uh, yeah, you can continue out here. Yeah, and you can and also you send it to total... Server Plan 1 to see what's the difference for Server Plan 1 and 2. That was a nice, no, nice add-on. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Um, so yeah, I think this is, uh, again, great built-in workbooks that you have, but you can always, uh, yeah, as Mario said, you can, uh, you can build your own. And you can do that by clicking new, and then you get in here, and you, yeah, just starting adding things. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, mm. it will take you uh, some time. I would say it's not that easy to build them, uh, but once you get familiar with them, you can get the really really good results in here. Is it possible to uh, add uh, something in an existing workbook if you have something already uh, laying around and create a custom version of the? Anything yes. Yeah. Um, you can click uh, edit and then you can start uh, playing around here. I believe it is. Uh, I'm not sure if you can do it to the building ones though. But uh, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can also start uh, start writing it in ARM uh, if you uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want to deploy them and stuff, yeah. you you can do that as well. And yeah. um, uh, you will find the same thing when you go to to the GitHub. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Community uh, where you have these deploy to Azure buttons, you can actually show that. Um, yes, I understand you don't fine. want to uh, deploy it, but if you click on community in the in the left um, um, just go out here. menu, repo. yeah, or there, exactly. Yeah. Many ways to roam. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> you have uh, all the different workbooks, right? I think we just uh, spoke about one of the newest uh, workbooks that we saw. It is yeah. uh, this one with the on onboarding, and that is uh, that is pretty cool. And then you have the button here, as uh, Mario said, deploy to Azure. Yeah. You can click it, and uh, it will take you back. Yeah, so it will be mere deployment, and then you're ready. Yeah. If, a uh, completely white page. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. If it if it so let me, uh, <laughs> you can start with whatever you want. You just need a black yeah. marker or something like that. So. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oops. Let's see if so I, um, see if it works. Yeah. Get lucky this go. time. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, this this is super cool, right? You can uh, 
now I, I'm of course uh, not a contributor. I, I didn't uh, elevate into that. I'm just a reader, so that's why I cannot yeah. do it. But you can select your yeah everything yeah. here, and uh, once you're ready, you can simply just review and you can uh, you can create it. Yeah, and then or you can go in and you can edit the template. Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, press the edit template, yeah. please. Oh, that was a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Edit template. I will do that. Then yeah. you will see. So you will see the ARM yeah. template that is actually deployed. So. Yeah. You can actually mm -hmm. see that uh, e everything here is uh, really defined as um, different kinds of, uh, uh, well, a, a notebook, as you can see on line 43 down here. So uh, everything is open and you can edit essentially anything mm -hmm. in, in the different uh, different notebooks. So of course, yeah. this looks ridiculous, but <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. uh, usually what you do is that you build uh, build it in the GUI and then you just export the whole uh, whole thing, so mm -hmm. you can you can actually do that if you go to um, if you go to a um, a workbook in um, in Defender for Cloud. Just skip out this, come back here, and then just choose to choose to edit one. Take the governance one, and we edit it. So what you saw under this. Uh, code this um, um, button on the top, third from the right. This is where you can actually see the code um, uh, from, from the right. From the right. So this yeah. one you mean. There you go. Advanced editor. Advanced editor. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, so all, here you can see a gallery or ARM template. Um, mm. But uh, and, and, and this is what is actually stored on GitHub, right? So, mm. uh, so when you when you use the GUI to edit the uh, edit, uh, workbook, uh, then um, you can actually just store this in GitHub or Azure DevOps and deploy it to whatever environment you would, uh, would like. Or you can even contribute to the, um, to the GitHub um, repository as well if you have mm -hmm. some clever new workbook that you believe other people should be using as well. Yeah. So sh sharing Which way is... too few people do, but uh, yeah. it's yeah, uh, because if, if you need it, you can be quite sure that somebody else need it too. So uh, you should actually exactly. share. Yeah, even yeah. though it looks simple, it could save a lot of time for people. So share it if you have it. So mm. I completely agree. Sharing is caring. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, cool. So then we got to, to cover workbooks as well. Is there anything else we have uh, forgotten or are we good to go? No, I don't think so. We even showed the, the GitHub repo as well. So yeah. Um, yeah. Excellent. Great. Yeah. Then I will just say thank you for your time, Niklas. We really appreciate you showing us some Defender for Cloud uh, cool stuff. Um, yeah, I'm really happy to uh, to share and be part of this. It's uh, It's great. Yeah, hopefully we will see you again in a not too far distance future. So I hope so. Too. In a galaxy far, far away. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. See you next time. See you. See you.